G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an anti-armor plasma throw, a 25% faster fire rate for its secondary legendary effect. Cast your minds back to the uh, update which brought us one wasteland, and everything was nerfed to the ground in terms of the uh, legendary prefix, except for anti-armor, that kind of stayed as it is normally. What that means is, in some cases, against some tougher enemies, potentially you could get better damage out of an anti-armor weapon than you could with a bloodied or a junkies, which adds a lot of utility value to the anti-armor legendary effect. Secondly, the fire rate on this thing, you know, being on a plasma barrel is going to make it, a uh, plasma thrower barrel is going to make this fire rate so much faster than what it would be normally, and that's going to push the DPS up to Another level, it might even be illegal DPS, so we'll, we'll try to find that out. If it's illegal, we'll have to post cop emoji so the Bethesda fun police don't come and arrest me for, you know, having fun in their games by doing damage. 36 and 36 ballistic and energy damage, very nice. We've got the refined beta wave tuner on that. Honestly, it gives you a bit of fire damage over time, but that's kind of it. There's not a whole lot of things that you could put on here that would make it better. You could optimize this better for that if you use something like a reflex sight. I've got the sanitize because it's a flamethrower, so aiming's not really that necessary. But if you wanted to op optimize the uh, cost per shot in VATS, and this thing in VATS is going to be uh, eating your AP very fast because it'll be firing very fast, you could chuck a reflex sight, maybe a critical capacitor, calibrated capacitor, to increase your crit damage, which will you know, give you lots more damage. We've got a true flamer barrel on there. I don't think that increases the or tightens the cone of fire that sprays out of this thing, but I like to put that there for a little bit of hip fire accuracy there. Um, you could use this in bats, and the true thing would actually be the uh, best choice for that, even though it will potentially give you a little bit of an AP penalty. There's a line to get the best of both worlds. Just ignore those super moons shooting at my house, they're attention seekers. Like me! That's why I started a YouTube channel, right? Go away, Super Mutants. Now, and you, know, you might think you'd chuck on the Commando perks to make this thing better. You don't. You chuck on Rifleman. It is automatic, but Rifleman just makes it more powerful. Simple as that. Don't question it. It's perfectly sound and logical. Bloody mess goes on as well. Now, for luck and agility, you'll notice that we've got no sneaking perks because, well... We're going to be using this thing loud and proud, so we've got a bunch of defensive perks instead, like Marathoner. Um, that's kind of there so I can use uh, Dodgy, and the Dodgy won't eat all of my AP for running, or the other way around, uh, vice versa. We've also got Evasive to give us a little bit more of uh, resistance there. We've got Ricochet to, you know, 1 in 6 chance to not get shot at when we do get shot or not take the damage. And Serendipity if we get to lower health to give us slightly even better uh, I guess tankiness and with endurance rank 2 how it is you'll find that with these perks You'll actually be a lot more tanky than you would be without so that's helpful We've also got gunsmith to keep this thing from breaking nerd rage is there if we get down to that obviously it'll boost the damage quite a lot with um, with that and uh, Adrenal reaction not as much as it used to but we've also got follow-through far-flung fireworks a whole bunch of legendary things saying a What does that mean who knows or is it? Kale backwards. Who knows? But yeah, um, basically follow through is there for it. If I want to use follow through, I probably want to be sneaking first. So what I might do is utilize it against Swan and the Mylurk Queen, just to get that slight, um, I guess, damage bonus when I'm sneaking. And then we'll uh, check out the weapon because there are my legendary perks. And now we're doing 58 and 63. Okay, so perhaps energy damage wasn't nerfed as harshly as Ballistic, but you know they were equal before, but now they're not. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so here we are at the gulp assembly plant. It's called that because you know, gulpers aren't assembled here. Gulpers work here and assemble just whatever they want, I guess. So there's the uh, damage there. Going over my armor, if I do happen to get into low health, I've got all of this unyielding stuff. And that's going to give me a whole lot more agility, so that'll bolster my ability to sprint. And uh, all of this is AP refresh, so it's a nice little defensive bonus there. We've got Are You Not Entertained Winter Today, um, the gladiator outfit, not Caesar's Legion. Anyways, let's get started, and we'll see what we can do. Oh no. Is that a, is that a time to kill under a few seconds? Uh-oh. Well, this weapon's illegal. You know what to do. You know what to do, comments. Start spamming the cop emoji so the Bethesda fun police would think... This is already... Is that another... I just pulled a bone off a dog. Yeah, good. So glad that happened. But yes, everyone seems to be frothing the emoji spam, so I'm just going to keep that going because that's fucking awesome. I, I run out of... Uh, 
I run out of heart buttons to like. I'm just smashing that all day on all these car emojis and all these cop emojis that show up. Anyways, so that's the first lot taken care of. And now we're doing 81 and 91. Factor in a little bit of the adrenal reaction there. And that's kind of weird how the, um, the energy damage is getting higher and higher as the... Like, as a the damage difference between ballistic and energy. Maybe there's some multipliers hidden in there somewhere, or something isn't calculating properly, but I like seeing that damage. That's nice. Aim for the head with a flamethrower. Cook their brains. It kills them nice and quick. Not too much to really comment about here, other than this thing is going to kick a lot of ass. And thank you to the comments for recommending this, because you know, they have mentioned that, hey, these, these plasma frame flamers throwers they kick ass now and indeed they do the anti-armor fire at one is smashing through these super mutants and you know we're barely even dead so let's go inside okay we're just going to absolutely send it through here kill that guy before he has chance to regenerate and a bloodied lead pipe i don't want to know where i pulled that out of but i guess that's more script for me actually winter's been full on script for a long time now so maybe i should spend some of it right just kidding i don't spend it anymore i just hold it i did used to spend it on legendary modules i think but not these days so i guess we could probably test what the maximum effective range of this thing is and that's pretty far that's much further than you'd get out of a shotgun and it's kind of funny how this rifleman based weapon and i only say that because that's what the perks it uses is a better shotgun than basically all of the shotguns in the game all of the explosive ones too because you can you know do this and not kill yourself so that's very helpful and annihilating the doggers as soon as they look at you very very nice and look at the defense perks going off ricochet is going off getting uh, i guess it's called the, the dodgy perk and then Evasive is there, giving me some more. So despite being a squishy two endurance character, we're tanking the damage quite well. And another thing that we are doing, like the Skyrim guys used to say, the best offense, or the best defense is a good offense. Well, we're not giving these super mutants a lot of time to shoot at us, so that means we can, you know, not have to worry about taking too much damage. But again, I I still think this damage is illegal. But well, maybe it's not illegal because there are some people out there with YouTube channels who promote using hacked weapons and even show them and on their legacy giveaway videos and then try to cover it up by recording the video again. People notice these things and you, there's a difference between the players that use stuff that's in the game and build it around those weapons to actually achieve the good damage output like this and you know, players that just you know, use these fucking food build perks and then you know, say they've got good builds when they don't. Yeah, you know who you are. I think the biggest limitation this weapon presents itself with is, I guess, you could potentially say range, but I think it's just the ammo type that it uses is, uh, it kind of screws itself over. Who's that? Why are they on my screen? Also, yes, the new season has started, so that's helpful, right? Um... Yeah, I paid to win all of the stuff last season, so I wouldn't have to grind for it. Also, because I took that one-month break. Nice and refreshing. Might take another one now that Cyberpunk's out, because my goodness, that game is good. So good. I really enjoy it. It's kind of what I've been waiting for. I, I wasn't, like, super overhyped for Cyberpunk. I was just waiting for it. I didn't follow any of the news. I know now that it's being canned by console players because they're 200 and... Uh, that, yeah, I guess they're $200 2013 consoles using hardware from the god, the, the gosh darn Middle Ages. I didn't blaspheme this time. Sorry for doing that, God. You know, some people tell me off for, uh, you know, swearing, because I've got kids that watch your channel and I'm swearing all the time and they're picking up bad language for it. Okay, first of all, stop your kids watching this. This game isn't for children. They should be watching Laserbeam play Roblox or Fortnite or whatever he plays. And for the last time, comments, I'm not Laserbeam, alright? Stop talking about Laserbeam. I'm not him. I don't play little children's games and pan out of those types of uh, players, kids. But yeah, sometimes people tell me off for using foul language. It's like, okay, well, just don't watch then. But the other day, I got this comment. Well, actually, it was today. And, um, and he said... Boy, don't use GD word because, you know, you're saying God's name in vain and God's not going to like that. 
And that kind of stopped me. I was like, well, you know what? He's right. I don't want to piss off God. So I guess swear words are back on the menu. So yeah, I'm sorry, people who have uh, poor parenting skill. I, I can't actually say that. I'm not a parent myself. But yeah, don't let your kids watch this. This is for like people who are like my age around that 18 and up because, you know, there's some naughty words going around and you don't want to burn your freaking ears on it. Are you not entertained comments? Are you entertained today? You should be. So I had about 4,400 uh, rounds when I started this, and we'll have a little bit of a uh, look-see after we're done here just to see how much we've used so far. Because I'm thinking this thing's a little bit like a V8, right? It gets the job done. It's really fast, but it's a little bit thirsty. I think I explained this before, but, you know, putting it in an analogy like that is a... Uh, it's a cool thing. It's a it's a cool way of segueing back into talking about my car. I put fuel in it for the first time today. Obviously premium because I'm not a savage who uses bad fuels. But you know you're supposed to use premium fuels in a VA. It keeps it running nicely. Keeps it nice and clean. Although back when I had my three point coward doggos. Back when I had my three point six liter D six Commodore. I still did that because I wanted it to last forever. But then I rammed it into a Hilux. But I got a V8 out of it. Uh, <clears throat> only problem is I'm like, I don't know, 30 grand out of pocket now. But that's okay, I've got a cool car. It's a cool car. And, okay, Swan's already out. And this is what I, this is what I want to do. Um, what I might do here is actually use VAT and see if we can get the follow-through bonus as well as tenderizer. Whoops. Ah, he's sitting in deep water. Caution, please. Okay, there we go. No staggers. Ah, yes. That did the job. I was outplayed by Swan. Outwitted by Swan. You know what? Good on him. He's dead, though, so it doesn't matter. Okay, we're, we're back on this very spicy edition of Captain Noob. And we've got crabs. Um, and we've got to deal with them. And the best way to deal with them was a plasma... Th Wait, hang on a second. Well, there's giant mutated crabs around these areas, and it's my job to clean them out. I'm actually, uh... I don't have crabs. Well, I won't in a moment either here, but oh god. Oh, here comes the damage over time. I'm just gonna do a stim pack because I don't like you. I was hoping to get a quick stagger. I'm not sure if um, Tormentor works with this because I mean, it's fed by the rifleman perks, which would suggest that it's a rifle, but it's just this kind of. It's weird. Anyway, my luck queens out. We'll enter Vats once more. We'll go for. The, the not grass, or we'll find the legs, and then we'll shoot it like this. And almost there. Well, she put up more of a fight than Swan, but I still think that's an acceptable time to kill on a Milo Queen indeed. I mean, nothing's going to beat the fixer, but for an energy weapon, pretty solid. So, in Cyberpunk at the moment, I'm working on a build. I'm trying to, you know, shoehorn Stealth Commando gameplay into that, and I'm happy to say that it's kind of working. They've got a really cool kill skill system as well, which I think is awesome. I always like the kill skill perks, and there's only one of them in, in, okay, game. So I was hit, jumped out of the way, teleported back, and then instantly killed. Slow clap. The game didn't like me talking about cyberpunk, apparently. We'll, we'll pick that up later, whatever that was. Maybe it was some tin cans, but... Ah, yes. Another limitation is that you can't really uh, deal with things that are out of your reach, kind of like melee. In a way, this is kind of like a really strong melee weapon, just with an ammo requirement slapped on top, right? And maybe a requirement of getting this, the correct parts for it, I suppose. You could say that. But... I, you can get around this by simply using other weapons or baiting the Squash Beast behavior. But if they're kind enough to land in your face, what you can do is just toast them. Ow. And kill them. Eh, we've picked up the Blight, have we? No, that was just the ghoul for I'm irradiated. That's fine, we can deal with that. And then we got punched and hit by a stick. Didn't. Might want to draw these guys out of uh, this place. And yeah, this is definitely illegal DPS at the moment. You know, 
if other players can get this only with packed weaponry, well, I should be arrested and put in jail for using this thing. You've got a couple of options with dealing with Scorch Beast. What you could do is get a jetpack and you know, fly around, but obviously that's a drain on your AP. You kind of don't want to do that. Or you could wait for them to you know, fly over and then toast their balls. But I think the easiest way to deal with these guys once if they're playing, if they're acting the fool like this, is to shoot them with the rifles. We actually got out of a stagger there by choosing a new weapon. Huh. Okay, I need to utilize that next time I'm being mega staggered, but that's interesting. Not a bug, Bethesda, don't nerf that. I want to get out of staggers by uh, doing that. Okay, so I think we've got full adrenaline. If we can pull the uh, the Scorch Beast Rabbit out of this fissure site hat, we'll toast his face off and we'll see how we go. We might actually be able to do this, uh, although I was pretty close to this before, so I don't think we'll pull it out. No. I might die due to radiation. We'll do one of those. So yeah, there you have it. I know I wasn't talking about the weapon in a lot of the, the cases of this video, but I do think that this is one of those weapons that kind of speaks for itself. I don't need to tell you that this thing is fast. You saw that. I went over some of the limitations of it, but you know, this is live commentary, you know. Can't get everything. I, I do have an idea and plan of what I'm going to talk about most of the time. But, uh, well... Sometimes stuff slips my mind, especially when I'm focusing on gameplay here, which I didn't have to really focus on aiming all that much, but regardless of all that, this weapon has been fun to use. So if you happen to find yourself out of you know a good position of damage, get yourself a legendary plasma rifle of some description. You might find them in vendors around because people generally don't rate them, and if the word hasn't already gotten out there, maybe someone's already sent the word out that these things are actually worth having then they might be easy to find. If not, then you're going to be paying out the nose for it, but it'll probably be worth it in the end because you've got yourself a very effective weapon that can kill stuff very quickly. Thank you very much for watching, guys.